that NIP have set up. So IG, they're going to have to stretch their senses a little bit. Trade Pink it right now. absolutely gets this one. The all-out's going to come through straight under a turret. He gets it. He's in, but why is KM gets the first kill? It gets out easy, does it? Meanwhile, Rookie getting caught in mid lane, not going to go down. Just a little later. Why is Cam though almost taking down Shanji? The Dawning Shadows not gonna get the kill, but Shanji will get revenge. And how do we forget about the other global? If things get really spicy in top side, <laughs> just throw a center rail gun up there as well. Why is Cam corruption? There's the package across here. Nobody's focusing the dragon, but it's rookie folks. He shouts you edgy. Cry goes in, tries to kill it, but rookie's actually the clutch member in this whole thing. He got the dragon, he got the kills. And he's stomping his old orb. Very awkward spacing. It is going to be instantly turned on to Fotik as he got caught. But it's a nature's grasp across the board that's going to be nice. Fotik back on the backside, puts Woes down. Package used by Rookie. And now they're re-engaging here to IG. And Shanji's doing his Kishanji dance. As that's huge. And YSKM just gets burned down. Dotting Shadow rips the railgun through his body. And that's IG running for the hill. No nocturnal, no ability to close down the carries. They give it a good shot, actually. They try and manage, they try and catch out Fotek after that, that choice chance piece of CC lands onto him on the river bush, but they can't get the capitalization. That's going to be dragon down. It's another fight loss. They are now solidly 5k and a bit of change into the deficit as well. NIP continuing to roll forward in the game. It's all Joel all day long. He saves his life. Rookie pups out. It's like you've got the kill. Hostile takeover, though, actually turns back around a lot of damage. Both uh, take going to have to flash out, but got the blade kill on the cry. And, and again, IG try. They're swinging at the walls, but they just bloody their knuckles as there's nothing breaking for NIP. And this one's post 20 minutes. So that'll be a Baron going over as well. Aki walking up towards Wink. Uh, Aki, here, right? you can't. <laughs> oh, gosh, he dude. For sure dead. Your team is just looking to take Baron. It's 20 minutes in. They're crying on the backside with the TP, but it's Shanji in front of everyone, literally taking a 1v4 by himself, and the man is unstoppable. It's going to be a kill on the cry, too, and everybody from NIP just filing in. Oh, my goodness, it's a slaughter. I think they're feeling pretty bold right now as uh, we're going to see the fact that they have a small minion wave there. Yeah, they're going for it, man. A little curious. Oh, the triple, but it's not enough. They're still out of the Nexus turret. Dro's there just to save the day. As, uh, no, they're actually not. They they are scared of Wink and Tianjin and crying. Really insane. We also got Rookie. Oh my gosh. With the steel chair. And it's going to be a nice cry and ulti, but it's not enough. The package was lethal and I shouldn't open that one. That's more than a steel chair. That's like, you know, like the old Looney Tunes cartoons when you have the, uh, the like the Acme one ton weight. There's only a few living breaths left for IG oh. in this game one. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. Oh. What? Oh. Yeah, Justice reigns from above. What? Botic this guy's just gone. down, man. Botic is insane. The combo is alive and well. And last turret left standing for IG. As the paranoia comes through, it's going to be tempted to try to get one last grasp effort, but the Nexus is in the eyes of NIP, and a couple more kills on top of it. NIP start off our day real strong, 1-0 over IG and Rookie over his old team. Yeah, that the, the things that IG needs to think about moving forward here is Let's go down and it's first blood to Aki. Oh my gosh, that is such an overstep. Buddy, you can't do that. You started with the Q. If anyone walks up to you, you are fighting because you can't leave. And uh, they don't have the ability to pile on and for the hex flash. He's Whoa. sneaky. Tianjin with the Surprise! angle there. <laughs> and Zuo had no idea. Yeah, oh, but neither did Cry and instantly responded to by Rookie getting the kill in mid. Okay, well played by Aki. Realizes that the play's happening bot side, immediately responds to mid lane. The cease and assist comes through it for his divide right back, and here comes Tianjin. This is a chaotic fight. What the heck? This Tianjin is on the backside. Now you got Shanji with the ulti out. Tianjin just gone now. Why is KM now goes in for some reason? And IG are falling apart at the seams. And they managed to do that with such a split fight. Two people go top. Drow's going on a flank towards the bot side. A full screen and a half away. And it ends up in a three for none. No, though. Drow is going to miss the engage. Does end up turning back. Tianjin is there. Rookie's locked down. Rookie with the Empress Divide gets flashed up by YSKM or at least dashed on. And now it's just IG who thought they could find Rookie for a second game in a row and end up with literally nothing. I mean, 
Rookie's the tank now? I don't know, man. He took like two or three ultimates, three people focusing him down, but just with the Merc Treads, he somehow makes his way out of that one alive. That was one of the weirder Azir fights I've seen in quite a while, but it works out for them nonetheless. It's going to buy them an outer turret. Rookie, oh are you going in again? Oh my god. On and Wink reunited again, and maybe reunited in death. Welcome back. It's getting darker and darker as the lights start going out. Ryan, maybe wishing the lampposts oh, yeah. were around a little bit earlier because now he's in some trouble. Rookie has come from the night to claim his life, and he does just that here. The minions are going to be claiming the kill. <laughs> right? Go right? 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 <laughs> Guys? Right? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, no. Why is KM run away? Oh! Well, and I was, fear uh, uh, are just easily handling it here. So that's why I was sat there like, this fight shouldn't really have just absolutely gone another engage on a cry and he finally gets the oh there's no way the out down anyways there is no way out Sanji's still alive why is cam he wants it he got the kill let's go it's a consolation <laughs> prize as it's the small prize given at the end but it's an ip to take home the big one and it's looking like a big purple worm Oh, there's no way out. 707 on the Azir, 208 on the, uh, the Zyre as well. The carries of NIP. The end of the crying in this game. Oh, goodness. They're just going in now. On was the focus, but it's actually a nice little disengage there from IG. Oh, oh. it's Rookie that fights a double in the end. And he's making it know that they did not come to play. They came to smash. I don't think he's going to make it out of this one. Smoke comes in just to make sure. And uh, final gasps in this top side of the, or bottom side of the map, rather, going to be this last turret going down to Shanji. That's going to be going down, but Aki's actually deciding not to push around for an inhib. A rookie is just doing his own thing. Just having fun. This might be, I was about to say it might be a little too far, but Wisecam wasn't close enough because they'd gone in, they used him a bit. Wait, oh my god, he got a solo on crying. What? <laughs> What is happening? Like I we've got see the Aki's, of that Aki's, one, Aki's backed off, taken to Dragon. Top side is doing just random things with Rookie. Rookie, but he's literally not taking any damage. And Rookie goes forward, eliminates on as he welcomes him back to the LPL with open arms and a bloody lip. That's game two to NIP and the series two zero to the ninjas in pajamas with some extra sauce added on top at the end. But it gets rid of his clean sheet dies on the fountain, but what style he does it.